Welcome to my Easy Fitness Over 50 Beginners and Seniors a 5 day workout course. My name is Anthony and welcome to a 4x4 circuit. Welcome to day number four of the five day workout course. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day so far. So if you've missed the last three workouts, head down in my description, you will find the links there which will take you to the three workouts. With that said, let's head straight to this workout with a warm up, with a march in three, two, one, let's go. Let's lift those knees, keep a nice strong core and let's get those arms pumping through. Fantastic stuff. So how today's workout is going to work? We've got five exercises to three rounds. We'll spend 20 seconds on each exercise, followed by a 10 seconds rest. Within that 10 seconds rest period, I will demonstrate the next exercise. And at the end of the workout, we'll do a full body cool down stretch standing. Okay, everybody, let's increase the pace off this march slightly in three, two, one, let's go. Shoulders back, chest out, head up, facing forwards. Pumping those arms through, looking good. Okay, five seconds time, we're gonna get a step jacked. That's five, four, three, two, one. Let's step out to the side. Arms come up parallel to the ground. Keeping that posture nice and upright, head up, facing forwards. Getting the blood flow through the body. Getting nice and loose and warm, ready for the workout. Awesome job. Okay, in five seconds time, we're gonna come back to a march and throw some light punches out in front of us. There's five, and four, there's three, and two, and one. Back to a march, lift those knees. Light punches come out in front. So try and keep the arms and chest high. Try not to overextend those elbows, looking good. Let's take it down to the ground. Keeping the marching going, keeping that posture nice and upright. Fantastic job, everybody. Let's take it out to the sides. Super work, well done. Excellent job, let's go above the head. Nice, good stuff. Keep it up nice and flow. Fantastic, we're gonna go through it one more time. So let's push it out in front. Arms at chest level. Good stuff, well done. Down to the ground we go. Super work, posture nice and upright. Take it out to the sides. Excellent, well done. Last one up above. Hold it there, there's five, four, three, two, and one. Super job. Taking the feet just over shoulder width apart, toes facing forward. Bring the arms up to chest height, interlocking the fingers. Tummy sucked in, slowly rotate side to side. One continuous movement. Follow the rotation round with the head. Take it nice and slow and controlled. Super job, well done. Okay, let's extend the arms through. Pushing through that rotation. Keep the arms and chest high. Pushing around, good stuff, well done. Excellent, let's reach up nice and high. Open up the lats. Super job, well done everybody. Come back to it in five, four, three, two, and one, super work. Now we're gonna warm up the hips. So you're gonna bring the knee up, out to the side, slowly back down, then change over to the other side. Good job. Now if you can't get the knee all the way up, you can do it nice and low as well. Just keep the core muscles sucked in, so nice strong core, out to the side, and back down. Focus on the balance as you take the foot off the ground. Lovely job, and just take your time. Good stuff. Just like that, one more on each side. That's the side, want those hips. One last one, slow and controlled. Fantastic job, well done. Okay, finish off the warm up, gonna warm up the shoulders, arm circles nice and high, and we're gonna go backwards. Super stuff. Now if you do struggle to get the arms up nice and high, take your arms out to the side, arm circles going backwards, just like that. Fantastic work, well done. Okay, let's change directions up and over. Super work. Excellent job. Okay, back to middle in three, two, and one. Fantastic. That's the warm up completed. Grab yourself your drinking water. I'm going to demonstrate the first exercise. We're going to head straight into the workout. 
So the first exercise is gonna be heel flick bicep curls. So we're gonna feet just over shoulder width apart, palms facing out. As we heel flick up, we're gonna squeeze the biceps just like that. But if you don't wanna do the bicep curls, you can have hands on the hips and do the heel flicks just like that. Turn around so you see what the heel flicks look like, just like that, and the heel flick back up. Okay, I'm gonna start the timer off in 10 seconds. Let's get ready to go. And we're gonna have a great fun workout today. We're gonna to work out our own pace. We're gonna feel amazing afterwards. Here we go, off in four, three, two, one. Let's go, heel flick curls. Working at your own pace. Posture nice and upright, tummy sucked in, strong core. Squeeze the biceps as we lift those arms up. Squeeze the back of the legs as we curl the legs up. Good, five to go. Four, three, two, one, super job. Next one we've got is hill taps. Just like that, changing over each time. Let's get ready, three, two, one. Let's go, just tapping the hill. And don't worry if you can't get the hill all the way up, do it nice and low, just like that, good stuff. Remember, as you take the foot off the ground, focus on the balance, keep a nice strong core. Fantastic, five to go. Good, three, two, one, super job. Next one we've got is power walk on the spot, pumping those arms through, looking forward. Let's get ready in three, two, one, let's go, power walk. That's it, super job, well done. Just like that, posture nice and upright, strong core, pumping the arms through, looking good. Keep it going, great start to the workout. Let's keep this positivity and momentum going. Looking good everyone, four, three, two, one. Taking the feet over shoulder width apart, a step, and we're gonna press, just like that. Let's get ready to go in three, two, one. Here we go, press, and press. And press, good stuff, well done. Taking the foot off the ground will help engage our core muscles and it'll help with our balance as well. Especially moving laterally. As we move laterally, we engage our core muscles a lot more. Three, two, one, super job. Next one we've got is step press, changing over each time on each leg. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Step press. Keep the arms at chest level. Good stuff. Elbows come back tightly to the side. Good job, well done. Keep that going. Fantastic work. Head up facing forwards. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. First round down, two more to go. Back to the first exercise, heel flick, bicep curls. Let's get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Squeeze those biceps as we lift the arms. Squeeze the hamstrings as we curl the legs. Looking good, well done. Posture nice and upright, strong core. Excellent, five to go, well done. Super, three, two, and one, excellent. Next one we've got is heel taps, changing over each time. Focus on the balance, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go, tap, tap. Tap, good stuff, and just working at your own pace. Lovely job. Posture's nice and upright. Take your time, looking good. Well done everyone, five to go. Good, three, two, one, super job. Next exercise, power walk. Pumping those arms through, posture nice and upright. Let's get ready, three, two, one, let's go. Power walk through. Head up facing forwards. Good job. Keep that going, keep that pace. Super work. 10 seconds to go. Looking good, everyone. Nicely done. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Next we've got is the step press. Let's get ready to go. Let's get in position. Feet just over shoulder width apart. Three, two, one. Let's go. Nicely done, perfect stuff. Focus on the balance as we take the foot off the ground. Super work, try not to overextend those elbows. Good, well done, five to go. Lovely job, three, two, one, super work. 
Next one's gonna be step press out on one foot, back over on the other foot, arms to chest high. Three, two, one, let's go. Just like that. Super job. Keeping that going. Pushing out, arms at chest level. Looking good, everyone. Keep it up, you're doing a fantastic job. Awesome, five to go. Four, three, two, one. Excellent, we've got one more round to go. Going back to the heel flick curl, squeezing those biceps. Let's get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Nicely done. Posture nice and upright, strong core, straight back. Working at your own pace through the final round. Lovely, well done everyone. Fantastic job. Keep it going, it's three, two, one, excellent. Next one is gonna be heel taps, just like that. So we're just gonna alternate on each leg, tap up the heel, three, two, one, let's go. Just like that. Super job. Keep that nice strong core. Keep that posture nice and upright. Lovely work, well done. And just tap and working at your own pace. Take your time, five to go, there's four, three, two, one, super. Next one we've got is power walk. Arms pumping, strong core, posture nice and upright. Here we go up in three, two, one. Let's go, power walk. Super job, well done everyone. Fantastic, keep it going. Pushing through, keep a nice strong core, straight back, head up, face and forwards, working at your own pace. You're looking good out there. Okay, there's four, three, two, one, excellent. Feet just over shoulder width apart, arms by the ears, gonna push up whilst lifting that foot off the ground. Three, two, one, let's go. Just like that. Super work. Tummy sucked in, looking good, feeling awesome. Come on, 10 seconds to go, let's keep this pace going. Super job. Lovely. Three, two, one, excellent. One more exercise to go is the step press. Change it over on each leg, arms to chest level. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Just like that. Lovely job. Keep that head up, looking forwards. Nicely done, leading back with the elbows when the arms come towards the chest. Super work, nearly there. Four, three, two, one. Excellent job. That's the workout completed. I'm just gonna stop the timer so it doesn't beep anymore. Super work. So now what we'll do is a full body cool down stretch standing. But if you need to hit the pause button, get a drink of water, maybe catch your breath, you can always come back to it. So the first stretch we can do is the quadriceps stretch. Now if you do struggle with a little bit of balance, I recommend you hold on to something solid, which I will do first, hold on to the wall here. Gonna take the foot up, bring the knees together, keep that posture nice and upright. Now if you do struggle to reach down to the foot, if you're wearing socks or trainers, take the sock or the trainer just like that, do the same stretch, you're not reaching down as far, keep that posture nice and upright, and it feels a lot more comfortable. Fantastic, well done everyone. Good job, keep it a nice strong core as well. Head up, face and forwards. Excellent stuff. Okay, let's change over to the other leg. Now if you wanna kill two birds at once, don't work a bit of core stability. Try this one without holding on. So you can take the foot up, get any taken sock, bring the knees together. Keep that posture nice and upright. You may feel the leg that your balance on, shake a little bit. Over time, with more practice you put into it, you will get better, I promise. Lovely work. Chest out, shoulders back as always. Working on posture. Excellent. Good stuff. Okay, let's release that. Now we're gonna stretch out the back of the leg, which is known as the hamstring. So both feet together just like this. My left foot's gonna go up nice and straight. My right knee's gonna be slightly bent. Place the hands on top of the bent leg. Push the hips and bum back. Completely optional on the next bit, but on the straight leg, if you wanna feel the stretch a bit more, take the toes off the ground. Getting the blood running back to the hamstrings, helping with flexibility, mobility, and also posture as well. 
Super job. Eggs and well done everybody. Fantastic. Let's change over. So my right leg out nice and straight this time. Placing the hands on the bent leg, pushing the hips and bum back, toes off the ground if you wish. Good stuff. Now if you do struggle to get in position with this stretch, get yourself in front of the mirror. The more repetitions you do on there, you'll just feel how to get in that position and it'll just automatically will come naturally to you. Good stuff, well done. Excellent, let's release that. Now we're gonna stretch out the upper body, starting off with the shoulders. Bring the arm across the chest and the elbow up through just like that. If you do struggle with this position, arm over, gently pull across. And if you like to, this next bit is completely optional. You can march on the spot if you wish. Completely optional. You don't have to do it. Just going to get a few extra steps in. Super work. Looking good. And we're stretching out the deltoids. Fantastic. Change over to the other side. Arm over, gently put across. Keep the marching going. Keep that posture nice and upright. Fantastic work, well done. Super job, let's release that. Now we're gonna stretch out the back of the arms, which is known as the triceps. So I'm just gonna turn around so you can see. Turn the arm up down between the blades. Get to the other arm and gently put it across. Tell me something, strong core, head up facing forwards. Lovely work. Let's change over to the other side. Stretch out the back of the arm, which is the tricep. Keeping that marching going if you wish. Super job, well done. Okay, let's release that. Now we're gonna stretch out the upper back, which is known as the trapezius. So bring the hands at head height, interlocking the fingers. Elbows are bent, keeping the hands at head height, we're gonna tuck the chin, looking down at the ground. Keep the marching going if you wish, it's completely safe to do so. Lovely job. Okay, let's release that. Take the arms from the back. Lift up the arms, push up the chest, head up facing forwards. We're stretching out the pectoral muscles which are located in the chest. That's it, well done. Fantastic job. Okay, let's bring the march into the end. We're gonna tilt the head to the side. Two fingers and just a hold in place for the stretch in the side of the neck. Just like that, well done. So feel the stretch on the side of the neck. Keep that posture nice and upright as well. Excellent, let's change over to the other side. So nice, just two fingers, hold it in place, no pressure on the head, and feel that stretch again. Super work, fantastic. Okay, let's release that. Now we're gonna loosen off the neck a little bit. We're gonna go chin up, Chin down nice and slow and controlled. Good stuff, nothing rushed. Fantastic, let's take it off to the sides. Looking good, well done everyone. Excellent, let's bring it back to the middle. Well done for completing our workout. Let me know how you got on. Just down in the comments, good or bad, I'll answer every single comment. Thank you so much for joining in, and if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free of charge, you pay no money whatsoever, and hit the bell notification that says all, because every time I upload, you will get a notification. And while you're here, hit the thumbs up button, because it really will push the video out to a wider audience. And um, yes, yeah, so we've got one more workout left, day number five, coming on Monday, and then you're gonna have all the workouts there, and in the future, you can always access this and go back to them. Or if you know anybody, if you know somebody, you know, who's not quite into fitness, but like to get into a little bit of fitness, you know, who's slightly older, you know, this is a great one to start with. You know, it's all low impact, easy to follow, and they get to work at their own pace. Thank you so much for joining in today. I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay healthy, stay positive, and I'll see you next Monday. Bye-bye.